Hi, my name is uh, Brandon. I'm from Phoenix, Arizona. Um, when I was a child, uh, I had some problems like focusing in school. In the subjects that I was really interested in, I could focus in, I could hone in, and I could, I could master those classes. Uh, but with the classes that I wasn't really interested in, I uh, did not, I tended to have, exhibit a lot of restlessness sitting through class and becoming very fidgety and, and, uh, and it was very hard. And, and I also had uh, a lot of problems um, with my social skills as a child. Uh, I tended to like blurt out a lot of things uh, without thinking it through and, and uh, thinking how it might affect like the other person. Uh, things just tended to come out of my mouth with no reason or thought and when people would get upset at me, when other kids would get upset at me and challenge me on things, I became very reactionary, uh, totally lost my ability to think with any reason or thought, was totally driven off of emotion and, and as a result I lost a lot of friends um, and had a very hard time keeping a lot of friends and the friends that I did have generally uh, tended not to last uh, very long. Um, as I became an adult, uh, these problems continued to persist uh, in terms of I was extremely successful at the things that I enjoyed. I really enjoyed college, I was very good at it. I really, at times when I really was into my work, I was very successful at it. Uh, but what ultimately happened is the same types of things occurred where if I if I had no interest in doing it such as like household chores or uh, taking care of the things that I needed to I it was extremely difficult to come up with like the motivation or the interest to be able to be successful at anything other than what I was interested in um, I also had lots of problems with my uh, relationships uh, that I had as an adult. Uh, I had a very hard time like shifting gears, so to say. So I would get like zeroed in um, on a pure emotional level. If I got in an argument uh, with a girlfriend or, or with a friend or a brother or a sister, that emotion tended to drive completely how my day went. I was never able to like step back and, and evaluate things. I almost always had to like sleep on it and when I would wake up in the morning I would realize just how ridiculous I had been and, and I would spend hours and days going over what happened and, and how it happened and, and what I did wrong and, and what I'm going to do the next time that this comes up so that I won't repeat the same mistakes. Well. Unfortunately, what would happen is when those situations would arise again, no matter how much planning and how much mental thought and, and that I put into it, I became totally uh, emotionally based again where my environment was affecting how I responded to people. So when I would get in arguments with people, even if I had planned never to act that way again, it just happened and I couldn't figure out why it happened that way. Um, you know, and the other problem I had a lot of the time was I, one of the core issues with that is that I could never really feel like compassion for other people. I could never put myself in like their shoes. I mean, I, I always assumed, I always looked at things as like, why do they feel that way about me? They should feel this way about me. Instead of me putting myself in their shoes and saying, well, now I understand why they feel the way that they do about me. Um, and so ultimately this, this cycle of, of, of always treating people like this ended up causing a lot of depression. Um, and what I ended up doing uh, is resorting to alcohol to, to make myself comfortable with the way that things were. Um, and over the course of time became a full-blown alcoholic. Um, and at one point I finally realized that my life was, was out of control. I couldn't understand why I was doing the things that I was doing. No matter how much I intended to do something, it never seemed to happen that way. And, and I eventually uh, sought out the help of a therapist. Um, the 
through the therapy sessions, I ended up getting diagnosed with uh, hyperfocus uh, attention deficit disorder. Uh, at first, I was extremely reluctant to accept that that was what was wrong with me, that, that all along, that all of my problems could be explained uh, through what I had perceived to be a, a relatively a new diagnosis uh, that the medical field had come up with. But uh, I ultimately realized um, that, that as messed up as things had become in my life, I had to be willing to accept that this was possible. And so I was prescribed uh, Adderall. And I was given uh, the extended release, 20 milligrams, to take twice a day. Well, right away I noticed, after taking the Adderall, that it had a tremendous effect on uh, allowing me to begin to feel compassion for other people. It began to allow me to focus in on the things that I enjoyed as well as the things that I didn't enjoy. And, and my life began to take a dramatic turn and I began to feel like a completely new person. The downfall of Adderall, what ended up happening, is I did, it gave me a very ramped up feeling in my system um, in terms of, I, I likened it, I used to take a stack or two which contained ephedra and when I took Adderall it almost had like the same type of effect or the effect of drinking a full pot of coffee within an hour's time where I just felt completely uh, on edge and ready to go all the time and as a result of that you know I was not getting the kind of sleep that that a normal person should be getting because I couldn't get tired I was always awake I was always on the move um, and the other problem that Adderall caused was that I did not uh, feel hungry like almost all the time eating when I was eating it wasn't because my system was telling me I was hungry I was eating just because I knew I needed to eat at some point uh, and so I had kind of explained like a lot of these um, side effects that I was having with Adderall and it was suggested to me to try a natural supplement uh, known as Adcare ADD-Care um, and when I took that I had all of the positive benefits that I was getting from Adderall in terms of being able to focus, in terms of being able to be relaxed, in terms of being able to, to stay on target and, and feel compassion for other people and all the things that, was, um, that Adderall had solved for me, the Adcare was solving as well, but I did not get any kind of ramped up feeling or on edge. It allowed me to sleep normally. Uh, it allowed my body to tell me when I was hungry, and, uh, and I would highly recommend it for anyone who's, who's on Adderall, uh, who doesn't like the, the feeling, the physical feeling that it gives you to, to check it out. And it is, um, the website for it is www.add-care.com, and I'm not employee or affiliated with the company in any way, uh, but I definitely think you should check it out.